everybody, App Goddess here, and today we're going to be reviewing Koi Pond. This is a Koi Pond that I have created. As you can see, there's raindrops hitting the surface, and you can hear the rain falling. I'll turn it down a little. And the Koi is swimming all over. My favorite thing about this app is the real water reaction you get the fish scatter and they seem a little annoyed you can move around the lily pads you can also determine how many fish you want how many lily pads you want and a bunch of other stuff so let's get into that this is your menu screen you tap the lower right hand corner to bring this up there's three tabs at the top your options which help create and run your Koi Pond. There's a news tab to give you information about this company's other apps and there's an about tab that tells you more about this particular app. In your options screen you have the ability to change the color of the water, you have the ability to decide how many fish you want, you can decide how many lily pads you want, and then there are a couple of other special options. The sun tab allows you to decide to turn the sun off or on. Now, this little iPhone picture here, if it's off, the vibration function will not be active. The vibration comes in if you rest your finger on the pond for a few minutes. What will happen is the fish will come over and start to nibble your finger. And when they do, you'll get a vibration from the phone. Um, so that's what that function is. I just turned it off. If you turn it on, the phone will vibrate a little. You can also decide what color you want the bottom of the pond to be. If you want it to be bricks, not bricks, but tile, or if you want it to be uh, rocks. I like rocks. You can also control the sound of the app from within the app, which is a nice feature. And now there's even a sleep timer function where you can have this be your uh, sleep timer. and You can fall asleep listening to the sounds that you want. I have the rain, well they just have a little thundercloud here. So of course you can turn that off if you want. You have the option to have bugs. I'll turn this all the way up so you can hear it. There's bugs, frogs, wind, which actually goes pretty good with the rain function, birds, And then, of course, the rain. My favorite thing about the rain, though, is that when you have the rain, you also have the little drops of rain on the surface, which is really nice. Now, if you shake the app, little pieces of food, sorry, but little pieces of food will fall, and it feeds the koi, and the koi go and pick them up. They land on the surface. Now... That instruction came and was actually an add-on. So see there's a little symbol that shows you how to feed the koi. And then that shows you how to get them to nibble their, your finger. There was one other recent update. And that was a holiday update for the app. Which I wasn't too crazy about. But it turns it into a holiday pond with lights around the outside. And you could actually have reindeer koi. You see these? They have antlers and a red nose. Or you could have koi that were red and green. And instead of lily pads, you had holly leaves with berries. So that was just, it was just all too much going on. Um, I did not really use that often. This is the Koi Pond that I enjoy, and I think you'll enjoy it too. It's 99 cents in the App Store, and I think it's one of the best 99 cents you'll spend. I always get oohs and ahs when I show people this app. It's a real crowd pleaser. Thanks for watching this review, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.